welcome to our new video on this channel of networking and telecom lessons i am balmukund kumar and i will be taking a overview of mpls tp now in this we will learn that how mpls tp in today's interconnected world how it is reliable and more efficient data transport network this technology is useful okay now mpls tp as the name suggest so first let's uh, do the abbreviation of this so this is multi protocol label switching transport profile now this offers a solution for telecommunication and service provider seeking to advance their network performance okay so in this video we will uh, dive into the basics of mpls tp okay and uh, explore its uh, key features and discover the wide ranging applications in the networking whether you are networking enthusiast or a professional in the field this video will provide you valuable insights into mpls tp okay now let's begin to understand the basics or the fundamental of mpls tp now as i told you that mpls tp is multi protocol label switching transport profile now mpls tp as it is written here it is layer 2 technology but actually it lies between layer 2 and layer 3 so many places you will find this as called as layer 2.5 technology okay now this combines the benefit of mpls here mpl is in the terms of what i mean is multi protocol so many protocol you can combine and it also removes the complexity that we have in the layer 3 that is ip networking now this uses a label switching so this reduces the time for your packet that you are trying to transport from one place to another so in case of ip network how how it used to happen is let's say you are trying to transport from point a to point b now in ip what happens since it is unidirectional it will take it will update the routing table of each node or the router and it will update the routing table and it will find the path to reach destination b now this routing info on information table or the routing base it takes lot of time to update okay just to reduce that time as well as the memory okay or the cpu we are using the label switching now this uh, here we don't use this uh, ldp protocol or rs vpt okay so but with a static route provisioning that is done now this supports variety of operational administration and maintenance functions something called as gac and gal that is generic associated channel and generic alert label now these are very advanced for your protection features as well as other maintenance features just to inform if there is a fault in the network or you can isolate if there is any fault that is occurring now this also supports in band traffic so in band meaning the path which you are taking your actual data traffic same path you will also be carrying your oam data okay so that is why it is meant as in band now just to segregate this actual oam and your actual data we use this gac and gal gal functionality now gal is used to dis segregate this oam packet and data packet okay now let's learn where does this mpls tp fit in okay now generally these are used in the access side as well as aggregation network now mpls tp is suited for circuit switched evolution now wherever you have this packet switched network just for this efficiency and multi service capability and extensive use of oam 
now this is also suited for mobile backhaul deployment now this can handle all your tdm atm ethernet as i told you it can have it handles multi protocol now under the multi protocol you can have traffic from different protocol that is coming in now what it will do it will add its own header and it will try to send in the packet transport network or the layer 2 now all the operation is or simplicity of the all the operation is done using the or all the fault is detected using the ccm packet or the continuity check message packet and all the fault has the recovery time of sub 50 milliseconds as per the standard now whatever i told you that it can be most of the places it is used in the access side or the aggregation side now for the core side we have ip mpls that is layer 3 now as you go from this uh, access to aggregation to the core you see that there is a increase in the complexity okay and as you move from the core to the access side you can see that number of node sites are increasing okay so thank you we'll see in the next video the sequence shell to this for the upcoming sessions on this